Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Airships once again. Today's beverage is <sighs> green tea. That's actually not as hot as I thought it was. It's actually getting quite cold. I'll have to drink that fast, but inevitably I'll probably forget about it. Anyway, airships I've featured several times before. You probably know what this game is. If you don't, it's about airships. Let's jump in. I'm going to show you a little bit more of it. I'm going to... Um... I'll go for a small map actually. Random arms here, and let's see what we can have. Stonewall HP. Oh, there's a spy action, 50% cheaper. That's not bad. We're going to go with that one and we'll start the game. Now, we're not going to get a completion on this one, but what we might do actually, there's only a couple of people on here. What I want to do though, I want to go straight to the. Well, my. Where, where, am, I? where am I? This is me here. I actually have two. Do I have two? No, hang on. Where am I? Oh, and this one here, I thought that was me there as well. No, no, just uh, very similar. Right, I'm going to go to create ship because a lot of people have been saying that um, in my previous video, why do we make a ship that's just a big block of death, right? Just put, just make it solid guns, right? And have it so it doesn't move. As in, you, you start, you drive it wherever you want, and then you just plonk it on the ground. I think that's a good idea. It's got a large keel. Oh, good grief, I've already messed that one up, haven't I? Uh, delete them ones there. I clicked and dragged with them, right? So... We're going to put large key light, a double key like that, right? And then what we need is a... I think we need, I think we need guns first. Let's build it around the guns, shall we? So we're going to go for... Hmm, what sort of guns? Grenades, cannons, cannons, I think. Wouldn't mind a really big cannon, but I don't think we have them. So we're just going to put cannons like so all the way up to there, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it. So remove module. I'm going to I'm going to stagger them a bit because I have a... I think I want to... Yeah, I want to stagger them. So cannons there and cannon there and then cannons there, okay? So we'll stagger them like so. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our corridor and then we'll run a corridor right down here like so. Hang on, cancel them. Cancel them, and then run it down like that, and then we should be able to fit in a couple of modules around here. So, is there a cargo door? There is a cargo door there, but we don't really need one. I want... Uh, a machine shop? What's a machine shop for? Oh, exhaustible supply of parts, carefully organised. We don't really need that. There's a repair bay. Sick bay. We actually need ammo, don't we, I think? Ammo is our sort of primary primary requirement at the moment so let's get let's get that first I don't I'm not really worried about being invaded there's an ammo store let's put an ammo store there but we don't really have access to it but if I run one of these down like so we now have access to all of that excellent and we run that up it's a bit problem problematic now if we delete them bits there actually no we've put them up there and then what can we put in between them just put a bit of deck in between it there you go just joins them up yeah or we could put just in case, we could put some guard posts there. That makes sense, having a guard post there. And then it means if we do get invaded, we've got some people with guard posts. We've got, got some guard posts there. Yeah, that'll do, right? That'll be okay. Anyway, right. So, we've got that point there. A fire point. A uh, fire point would be a good thing at the front there, but then uh, it doesn't allow us access to them at the front. So, we need small ammo store. If I just do that... <laughs> What if we just have separate ammo stores for all these? I don't like the idea of that there. Having this whole staggering thing at the front is just not a good idea, I don't think. But, you know, it looks interesting. And we can't get access to that one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to I'm just gonna change it around. I like, the, I like it. I like the way it looks, but it's just not practical. Let's just go to remove modules and remove all these. And we will go back to our cannons. We'll go back to the original design of just six cannons straight up like that. And then we'll delete one of them and then run them up. There we go, and there's all that connected. Remove modules, remove all of this. Right, there we go. That's easy peasy, isn't it? So, what we want to do is got a machine shop. Do we want a machine shop? No, we don't. We don't really need to repair anything. Hopefully, this is just going to be a block that moves in and then dumps down. We want a... I was going to say a fire point as well, but I think I'm just going to have this literally as a moving beachhead. Like some sort of... Not, not a harbour, but just a, you know, a block that will move and then just go clunk and drop it down. And that's what we'll do. I think that's what this is going to be. Then, what else do I need? I need, probably, ammo. Yeah, ammo, ammo. Let's put the ammo store and put it there, right? So, it's it's they've got access to that quite easily. Excellent. Then, I want, I think we need some sort of quarters. Yeah, we'll put quarters in like so. How many quarters do we need? I think that'll do. Although, putting all of the... 
<laughs> quarters right next to the ammo store is probably a bad idea. If that if that ammo store goes up, I think this is going to be, yeah, not good. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to delete all of these. I'm going to go back to ammo store. We're going to put one down there and one up there, right? And then in the middle, we can have a repair bay and we can have a sick bay, okay? There we go. I think that makes sense. And then everything's around there, that area. Then what I want to do, at the moment, I've only got these cannons on the front. I want to have rifles and I want to put them around here and I want to make them go up like that just to protect the ship if they do come for me that way so that's okay I think then we'll go for our game though it's it's this staggering thing I've got uh, what I'm gonna do got a better idea where's our bridge we need to know where the bridge is find our bridge 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 there we go actually we don't really need a I think I'll just need a co I think I just need a cockpit. I don't need anything else. I'll have a cockpit there, right? And then we will have on the front a rifle like so and then on the back a flipped rifle like so. So we've got a bit of coverage from that area, okay? I think that makes sense. Yep, excellent. Right. This thing needs to move cuz currently it ain't going to move. I think we need a supply hatch for a start off which will go Actually, if I delete that there and put a supply hatch, no, delete delete that. All right. We need a supply hatch there, and we need, we actually need, now that I think of it, <laughs> some crew. We haven't got any crew. Right, I think we'll put the crew up here, like that. Is that, an, is that enough crew? No, it's not enough crew, so we need more crew. We're going to have to do then, get rid of them and put the quarters down the bottom here. So we'll have crew there and crew there. Well, actually, I'll have crew there and there. I prefer it like that. And we do need, we do actually need three unit of crew. So we'll put that there. Do we need any more? No, I don't think we need any more for now. Let's put the other, let's put an engine in for a start. Of course, we're currently, oh, we need to, we need a suspendium chamber. Right, there we go. That's perfect. Two suspendium chambers, but we could just use the bags. Suspendium dust tanks. Which are like really sort of cheap ways of getting this thing moving. If I get rid of them, dust tanks. One there, one there. Hmm. We're still going to need a suspendium chamber. <laughs> Service ceiling, one meter. That's about right, isn't it? That's about where we want it to be. So we'll put two... Can we put two suspendium chambers on? We can. I don't think we really need... What's it... Why, why would you use a suspendium chamber? Oh, the reason you would use the suspendium dust tank over a suspendium chamber is because the suspendium chamber is uh, really expensive. Or really cheap. There we go. So we'll put a couple more in. I don't think any more will... I don't think we're going to be able to fit any more in, realistically. Let's put that many in. And we'll put a, a suspendium chamber at the back, like so. So we've got a ceiling of five metres. We need to put a bit more in, actually. I think we're, I think we're just going to have to put up with having uh, a low ceiling. But we, I knew that was going to happen. Like there, 37 metres. But that doesn't include the small propeller that I want in at the back here. There we go, and then we still don't have access to this thing. What I'm going to have to do is get rid of these. It's always difficult making one of these ships, but I actually like it. I don't know how... I Honestly, I don't know how interesting this is for you watching now, but I really enjoy just, just making this thing. And uh, We'll run the that all the way down there. And then what we need to do is we'll get rid of that, but we'll add, it, add some more. And there's more crew, as you can see. So we'll crew go all the way around the top there. Got our bridge, we've got our oh, it's a cockpit, we got that, that's a spendium chamber. I think we need a large keel again. Oh no, we'll go for a small keel at the back. That should do us there. And then what we want is suspendium chamber. Suspendium chamber. That gives us 11 meters, excellent. And then we need some coal stores, because obviously we haven't got no coal, so we'll put a coal star there. And we need one more supply hatch. So I think we'll put a supply hatch up there. Excellent. Then we need an engine, which will go... Oh, good. Where will the engine go? The engine will ideally go right at the back there, but that's where I want to do one of these. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of them. Put a supply hatch there. And then what I want is a cannon. No, rifle to go there. And then I want a flip rifle to go there, I think. Something like that. Then we want an engine 
on the back. Very small propeller. Very, very tiny propeller. Smallest propeller in the world. Hang on. Small propeller. Nope, that's a gun. Uh, I mean, that might work. You just keep pulling trigger until you go forward. There we go. Small propeller. They don't have any access. I don't need one at the back, now that I think of it. We just need uh, one at the front, really. I mean, they could get around the back of us, and that'll be our weak spot. But, there we go. It's called the HS HMS Imp, but I don't like that name. We're going to call it HMS Brick. The HMS Brick. No. Uh, <laughs> been watching Father Ted. Uh, HMS um, Stonewall. I think that's a good name. Okay, we'll click OK. But we want to go to armor as well. And we could just start cladding in brick. <laughs> Can we put steel armor? Stone wall, brick wall. No. We're going to have to put wooden steel armor on it. I don't know how. See, this, the server ceiling's 10 meters. Just protect the front bit like that. Um. We need to put wood armor on it. No, we can't put wood armor on that bit. Um, seven meters. Let's put some paint on it. Just have it black. No, we want we want a very large decal <laughs> of our nation on it, like that. There we go. <laughs> oh no, to the suspendium chamber. Oh, it messes up with it. It messes it up. Remove decal. Let's put a small coat of arms there. There we go. Oh, no, again, that one messes it up, so we'll just put it there. And we'll remove that one there. And we go back to armor. And we need to go back to steel armor. And we'll put it around here. Like that, because we know that, that like, that's um, where we're going to be our weakest. And then right around the top there. And I think we'll go back to wooden. And we'll put it like that. So we're protecting the top and the front. It doesn't work like that, right? It doesn't work like that because as soon as you know what, I just need that as wood. There we go. We'll keep the guns. We'll keep them solid. Actually, we don't need that. That's a bit of a keel as well. We'll keep the guns metal armor so they can't be taken out. That's the most important bit. Not the ammo store there, you understand. <gasps> the ammo store. Um, not the ammo stores, rather. There. Maybe, maybe steel armor across the ammo stores. Um, there we go. That'll do it, right? And where's the coal store? It's back here, isn't it? There we go. Got wooden armor. There we go. Just check. Yep. There we go. So the coal stars and the ammo stars are all covered in steel armor. And I think just because it makes sense, we're going to put steel armor. Steel armor there. Okay. So the bridge has now got steel armor on it. Right. HMS Stonewall is complete. I have no idea if this will work or not. Save design. HMS Stonewall. Save. And we will leave. And sadly, I can't do anything at the moment because I haven't got enough money to buy that. But, how much is the HMS Stonewall? Let's have a look. Stonewall is, oh, good grief, 1,700. So I'm just going to sit here and uh, wait until I get some cash. In fact, no, I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to speed up to max speed and wait until I get some cash. And then Stonewall is going to take its maiden voyage. There we go. There's enough to click on it. Build ship. Build ship. HMS Stormwall, there it is, and we're going to build HMS Stormwall. As I said, this is something that someone requ uh, said in the comments, like, what do you think? Do you think this would be a good idea, making a ship that is just so ultimately slow, and just, you know, just sort of drags its legs along, but it's just armed to the teeth, and I thought, yeah, that's actually a really, uh, a really smart idea. I like the idea of that, but the problem we have here is at the moment, Oh, enemy ship shall has the construction of the storm wall. No, you absolute bastards. Oh, they've destroyed the storm wall. They've sabotaged it. It's went back. Good grief. Right, I'm going to start send sending spies to the to different uh, nations here. There we go. Send spies. Spies infiltrating city. Send spies. That one actually isn't... Uh, uh, you can't... At the back there, you can see that it's uh, not even got any... People there, like it's got not got a, not got anything um to defending it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait here. See, they can't move because as soon as I move, I know that's gonna boot off, right? So they've all got severe police. Tiny shipyard. Let's have a quick look. So let's uh, view the city. They haven't got much of a city, have they? That's the, uh, that's rife for the taking. Let's have a look at this one. View city here. 
Ah, that's much better to invade. I think we're going to invade that one first. What I'm going to do first, though, we've got to build ship. Actually, we don't want to build ship. We want to build defences. And uh, build building. Defensive structure 17. Sentinel. I actually prefer that one there. Sentinel's not bad. I'll wait a little bit and see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invade that. Ah, there you go. Like I thought they would move. Stop, 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 move, move. Oh, good grief. Right, looks like we're fighting this one. I try to stop it, but it just wouldn't stop. Right, okay. Let us... I'm going to flee, actually. I'm going to flee on this one because I, d I want to in move back to my home base. Looks like I've stopped them there. I've managed to stop them. I want to go... Do I want to verse these guys? Right. So... Stormwall, let's invade these guys, right? Because they've moved over there. They're pillaging that area, so I don't want them pillaging. So, here we go. I have two ships. Where's Stormwall? He's in the reserve. I want to activate Stormwall. And we can only place it in, <laughs> in one location, which is there. But we can't place it anywhere else, because it's that's its ceiling. So I'm going to put it there, okay? Hull down and all that. And then this one... It hasn't got a very good ceiling either. We're going to put it there, and then we are going to go, and then all we're going to do is we're going to pause it for a second, click on this one, then we're going to ground the ship, and this one we're going to move up to there, okay? So what's going to happen is that Stonewall's going to get grounded. There you go, Stonewall is grounded, but now we're just going to start firing. So I've just brought... Oh, look at the cannons go as well! <laughs> Come on, guys. Look at them cannons. They're blasting that. Let us just move. We'll also flip the ship, and um, we'll put it... Um there and we're gonna ready we're gonna ready to smash into the back of this this is working look at the storm wall that's taking hits mass oh fantastic that's really taking hits what we don't have though I haven't got anything to repair it let's move this into there and go ram 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 oh you could not use you, you don't have to use the ramming pro I mean it's it's completely up to you guys um, that's fine these I'm going to put them on rapid fire because I want to just you know blast the defenses away that is an amazingly good idea. I like that. You just just bring it in and just go, plonk, there you go, job done. You move where you need to go. <laughs> we can't really move it, you understand, but yeah. Let's move this guy back over right to there. There we go. And I think their defences are going to go down shortly. As you can see, though, we are getting hit, and the problem is we can't repair it. We can't repair this thing. Oh, there's someone getting taken. Oh, look. Oh, there's someone injured. So where are they going to get taken? down and probably oh yeah they're into the uh the med bay yeah we've got a med bay hang on no we do have a we do have a repair bay that's our repair bay there hmm we'll have to work on that let's get this moved to there here we go it's gonna ram at the back but not use the ramming prowl and defeat what what oh we've run out of ammo for the storm wall <laughs> okay this is an insane idea this is an insane. We, we need to we need to revamp the storm wall. We need to go to uh, build ship. No, we don't even build ship. We need to go create ship. We need to go to open design, and we need to open the storm wall. Let's have a look at storm wall open. Right. So, <laughs> can't believe what we're doing here. Right. Let's get rid of. Oh, we'll go to large keel, and we'll get rid of these two, and we're going to extend it along. Uh, we want a oh, a large keel. We're going to extend it along like so. And then we want to remove these suspendium chambers in the middle, or at least remove all of this here. And remove that there. Because we need to actually increase our ammo, right? So we're going to get rid of... Oh, well, we need some more ammo. So I do have a repair bay. Yes, I do have a repair bay. That's my repair bay there. So we need more ammo, because obviously we ran out of that, which is never good. So we will go to ammo store, and we'll put one there and one there. Now, the reason I'm putting a gap there is because I want a fire door in between them. I don't want them exploding, obviously. Uh, a fire point would be nice, right in the middle as well, just in case there's a problem. In fact, what I'll do is I'll split the ship in half and have a fire door between the entire ship. And we will go for... Hang on. Uh, I need to get that fire door again. It's easy just to right-click on it and it selects that. What can we put here? Don't know what we can put there. Either way, we've got more ammo now, which is always a good thing. And I need... Let's put a guard post in there, just in case. No air marines or guards, that's problematic. Uh, what we need instead is... Actually, I don't think we need... Let's put some berths there, just because we can get some more crew. Actually, we need more crew in general. We're just running out of crew. What I'll do then, I will get a bit of a deck there. Put some deck. 
and then we'll do a corridor that goes right down. It's always a good idea to do it. And then we need some more, more people actually, some more crew. We'll put the crew along like that. Don't think we need that many, but we do need more suspendium chambers. Suspendium dust tank. One, two, or dust tanks rather, yeah, not chambers. There's a lot there. This thing is getting bigger. I should really make it taller, shouldn't I? Shall I make it taller? Yeah, let's make it taller. This is gonna be this is gonna be Mark II. I should really have made this a construction video because uh, we are just we're doing a lot of building, which is always a good thing, I guess. Right there we go. There's that, and because of that, how are we going to do this? I could, if I want, remove them and have our crew going along the top there. Okay, yeah, we'll see what that does, we'll see what that does. So we'll go to our quarters, and we're going to put quarters there, there, and there. And obviously we're going to have to join them up somehow, so let's see if we can just... Put them, we'll put them crew like that. Actually, no. I'll have to cut them off. i cut all this off. Delete all of these. And then put them there. And there. Right? And then we're going to run our... Corridor up top to there. And then up here we need the fire door, I believe. Yep, so we'll split, basically split the, split the ship in half. So uh, I'll just delete one of the fire doors and then place them up to there. There we go. Delete them and then run up to there. Fantastic. And then we need... Too heavy to fly. Yeah, I know. I figured that. Um, right, we need some suspendium chambers and some more engines. So suspendium chamber we're going to put there. How many would I need, realistically? What if I get rid of one of them? I don't really need... If I get rid of both of them, put a suspendium chamber there, and there, our oh, service ceiling would be 7 metres. Um, not enough to really do anything. I don't think I need a double keel. We're only sitting on the ground, so we'll, we'll get rid of the double keel. More suspendium chambers. There we go. 18 metre ceiling. That's okay. But we don't have any access. Actually, I just realised something. Can I get rid of these? I think I can do something here. Get rid of these. It's easy to remove modules. Right, and then put a suspendium chamber there. Because you need access to the suspendium chamber, but you don't need access to the suspendium dust tanks. So if we put them like that, put them right at the back. There we go. Suspendium chamber there. And then we need a coal store. There we go. Okay, service ceiling 16 meters now. It's higher than what it was. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that gun. <laughs> Put more guns on it. <laughs> this is insanity. This is complete insanity. Uh, I mean, we need. Do we have enough crew? Uh, no engines, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I realise that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we need to put some engine on it, <laughs> one unit of engine. So, um, let's get that on, let's cut it. Oh, we could put a sail on it. Just put a sail on it like that. Yeah, let's put a sail on it there, that, that works out. Yeah, we're going to do that, right. Uh, we need, oh, we actually need, we need more supply hatches. We haven't got any supply hatches, so I'm going to put cargo door there. There we go, there's a nice cargo door. And, oh god. <laughs> this looks insane. It is insane, that's why. It doesn't need to move, it's fine. Service ceiling, 8 metres. Um, hmm. Is that quite low? It is quite low. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of one of them as well. I'm, I'm going to put more in. I think I need to increase it. Service ceiling, 11 metres now. There we go. Supply hatch. Job done. Three supply hatches? Four supply hatches. How many do I need? Oh, apparently. There we go. There's our supply hatches in. And then we need a engine, which I'm guessing can go right there. That should work out if we put our engine there. Just get a little propeller. Small propeller. Put it there. Job done. I want a bridge. So, hang on. We'll go for a bridge. Actually, I don't want a bridge. I, want, I just want a cockpit. And we'll put it there. No, hang on. That's wrong. Delete that. And I'll put that back. Actually, we'll delete the one in the centre there. And we'll put a cockpit in. Alright, armour. Ah yes, we've changed things now. So we've got a wood wall. Oh, wooden armour right, by the way. Armour, not wall. Right, there we go. Excellent. And then steel armour. Good. And then it's that. That. Oh, 
And that, I believe. I believe it's that. Let's have a quick look. Yes. That's covering over the, the valuable parts. Mm, probably put a bit more armor on it. I think we'll go for steel armor over the coal store just because. And I think we're about right there. Excellent! Right, yeah, so that is the Stonewall Mark II. We're not gonna we're gonna rename it. So I think we'll call it um Iron Wall. Okay. Iron Wall. Save design. HMS Iron Wall. Right, leave that. Speed up to max speed. And let's get enough money. Oh, wait, I don't actually have enough money. What I'm going to do is invade this country here, which will not take long. Go, and then we will... Oh, dear. Um, I'll activate the stone wall and bring it in um, there, there. There, maybe. And we need to take these guys out. We will go get these guys to ground the ship. And these can move to, well, well there, maybe. And it'll just ram into it. Go, go, go. Oh, they're actually going to try and sail around it. Yeah, they're going to try and sail around it. Crash, 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 crash. <laughs> so, I'm still trying to take these out. I need some more money because I'm currently I'm losing money because of the spies I've got. So, let's see what happens here. We're hit. Hull breach. Yeah, you're fine. What I'm going to do is go for aimed fire. I, would, I, I can't, you know, mess around too much. Ah, that's fire. See, as you can see, there's, there's a bit of fire burning there. I currently don't have any way to stop it on this. This is the storm wall. It's um, not, not not exactly great, is it? Let's move this again. Uh, can we move it there? Oh, what have we got? Ah, out of repair tools and defeated. It's just out. That's not good. Can we invade? Can we board a ship? Once we got... No, no, we don't have any hatches. Looks like this is burning, though, which is all good. Ah, um, the stone wall is also burning, burning quite... Well, ah, not good. Guys, just to put the fire out. That's the coal store. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. That's an explosion. That was the that was the big suspendium ballast tank. Um, right. Yeah. We've almost destroyed that, though. I'm going to speed up to max speed because there's nothing else I can really do. It's just a waiting game now. But that That's never flying again. Defeat. Damn it. Damn it. No. Invade. Invade. I reckon we can have these, guys. Activate. Activate again. Go there again. We're just going to have to try and look out. And that'll do us. Go. Go. Drop that. Land that. But, like, obviously ground the ship. And then this one move to uh, there. I've just landed on top of my own ship. Fantastic. Spit up to max speed. Um, you know what? I think we're just going to have to go for rapid fire now. We can't even go for rapid fire because I've damaged the bridge. Move these guys up. Can't. It's broke. Um... <laughs> You know what? Flee. Just flee. Just flee. Just flee. Okay. Right. Move back to there. Wait. Um. Can I just... Can I recall spy? Recall spy. And we will recall that spy as well. And just recall all the spies. Recall a lot. I need more money. Recall spy. Come on. Recall. There we go. And we'll wait. Because I need to get the... I need to get the iron wall in. Once the iron wall's here, we'll be alright. But they're invading each other constantly. And I don't know if I'll have enough money for it. Build ship. How much is the iron wall? The iron wall. HMS fire. <clears throat> Flamethrower. <laughs> the iron wall. Two, uh, 2,390. Hmm. Hang on. Wasn't that mine, the HMS fire? Pretty sure it was. Yeah. I built that on a previous one. Did I? I built what? I did build the HMS. Something like that. Yeah, this there. Yeah, a little bit. Do Biggington. Yeah. Yeah. There am I. There are mine. I thought they were. Right. We can make the HMS Iron Wall now. Build ship. Iron Wall. There it is. <laughs> HMS Insanity. <clears throat> right. Once that's done, who do I invade? Who do I invade? So as soon as I move this, I can guarantee as soon as I move this, they're going to start moving as well. Yep, there you go, look. So we're going to click on that and move back. Turn around. And we'll wait. Oh, they're both invading me. Good grief. Right. So, they're attacking me. I have two ships in reserve. I have the Stormwall, which is going to go... Oh, you're joking me. 
Oh, you are taking the piss. <laughs> it's too big to fit. <laughs> I can fit it on the back. There, look. That's the iron wall. <laughs> the stone wall hasn't even got the surface. It hasn't even got the ceiling to go in. <laughs> oh, we're going to click go. And uh, I guess we're going to move back. Where's, the, where's that guy going? It's going to sit there. I'm going to ground the ship because there's no point in me not. Um... That's just going to sit up there and attack me in the back, isn't it? Right, you see, you see, I found, I found the problem with the, with the iron wall, right? And, and this sort of design, right? You see, it's a fantastically good idea. But in reality, it sucks ass because they can just go over you. Like, all they've done now is go here and they're now shooting at the back of me and not all my guns can actually shoot. Which is obviously problematic. Very problematic. I am managing to, you know, I think most of them are in. They are blattering away there. We're going to set it on rapid fire as well. Let's suspend him offline. I'm just going to ground the ship. That's a useless thing. Can I activate the storm wall? Uh, the, the iron, the, yeah. I can't, I can't bring it in. I can't bring the storm wall in. It's just the iron wall. I must confess, the iron wall is taking care of business here. Like, as you can see, there's a fairly big couple of holes in the back there. And I am whacking them. The problem is that they can go over the top. Okay, the iron wall is a great idea if you're invading someone. Because if they have defences, then it's basically you're bringing your own defensive system in there and you'll fire back. However, at the moment, it's, it, it's not finished. Should we just say it's not finished? Yeah, I think we can say that that ship is not finished. I was, oh, I've sped up to max speed and the game is absolutely dying. I wish I hadn't done that. Oh god. Oh god. Um help. Help. I think the game's dying. I think the game's dying. Can I pause it? Can I pause it's not even take I think I've wrecked it. I think I've broke it. <laughs> I think we're gonna leave this there. I've just realized I haven't even had I haven't I haven't even had any of my beverage yet. Don't speed up to max speed when you've got thousands of cannons going on. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh there we go. There we go. You can pause it. We're alright. Oh, looks like they're burning now. Excellent. We are going to leave it there because there's nothing else I can do here. These are both out of ammo. That thing is firing. And I think we will possibly win this depending on how much that burns. But um, I'm guessing all that at the back. You can see them running around putting fires out. Either way, that's pretty good. That that's. A <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind the storm wall. Um, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I mentioned earlier that I should have called this video a construction video. And... I've been thinking about doing a full construction series. Would that be something you are? Is that something you're interested in? Would you Would you like to see that? I'm up for it. I, I'm I'm quite up for it because I like just building the airships. But um, I know that that may look tedious for for you as a viewer. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that one, and uh, we might go from there and actually might have a full series of this. But anyway, I think that ship is going right down, isn't it? There it goes. Oh, victory! Just good work, lads! Hooray! Right, let's go home. Let's go like 30 miles back over through the bowels of the ship. Excellent victory. Nice one. The storm wall and the iron wall survived. The HMS catastrophe. Garbage. As always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. And generic partings.